What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Baytastic. It's your boy Xenos, and today we have the BX27 uh, short random booster uh, Sphinx Cal. So, uh, this is one of those random booster selects where you get the one prize bay, and then it's the same blade, uh, different parts. It's a three pack. So, uh, I tried to tear off this Monty Limited sticker as best I could to show off the. Uh, owner of the bay but they weren't uh they normally come off pretty nice but i couldn't get any of them to come off clean but anyway so the prize here obviously or the stock combo or whatever you want to call it is the sphinx cow 980 gear needle and then there's a black one with 480 high taper and then the white one which is probably my favorite and in my opinion comes with the best parts is a uh, 560 and orb so we haven't seen Orb again yet until this release. It first released on uh, stock Viper Tail. Uh, you had to get the prize. So uh, here's the blade. Here's the ratchet, the new ratchet, which is 980. And uh, then the new bit, which is gear needle. So, yep, like I said, select a random booster. Uh, I did get a full set, so we do have all three to unbox here. So we'll just go ahead and get right on into it. Um no surprises or anything other than I'm not sure which ones I'm opening up first. Oh, missed the tape there. That mess sucks. Okay, we're gonna put that to the side for now. So, um, with UX just being announced, or whatever you want to say, if it be announced, uh, up for pre-order, um, I kind of forgot about Sphinx a little bit. I didn't forget about it, but I'm not that hyped for it. Um, I haven't been hyped for it, really, in general. Let's see which one we got here. Okay, so this one is the uh, black version. So there it is. Um, it's got like a uh, pharaoh looking motif on the gear chip. It's pretty cool. It's nice and black. Uh, Viper Tail did the same thing where it had a black version. Here is the uh, all black 480. That actually kind of looks nice. Unfortunately, I don't really use 480, but it does look nice. And then, and then we have a high taper. So this uh, has the burst resistant piece right here along the stem. It's all black though, it looks kind of cool. So we'll put it together here. There it is. All assembled and put together, 480 high taper. So we're gonna go ahead and open the next one. And put the paperwork to the side because it will have a code card in there uh, that tells you what you got and I know that we got all three but kind of want to have some sense of mystery all right so let's start with the layer and we have ooh, the white one okay so here's the white one Looks super nice. Very clean. Very cool. Here we finally have another orb bit. This one's nice and white. Not too much to say there. Looks good, looks good. And then, pretty sure this ratchet's also white. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. So this is like a... I wouldn't say purple or blue, but... I don't know, maybe... Maybe like a really light lavender. It's not really looking that way on camera, but it's like, in person, it's like a really light lavender color almost. So that's interesting. Oh, as well, it looks like the new mold is on the Sphinx. 
right here. Kind of see how it slants down there. Um, well, that's interesting, I suppose. Um, Here's the bay all put together. Yeah, you see that blue or that light lavender color just kind of off, off shades it a little bit. It's kind of weird. Huh. All right, well, then we know that the uh, prize layer is in this last box here. Or stock combo. I don't even know if it's called a prize. Maybe you can call it a prize. Uh, it's not labeled as a prize, I don't think. It might be. No, it's not labeled as a prize on these boxes. Just uh, what would be like anime accurate or whatever. If you're into that kind of thing. Which I am. I like having the original copy of something. All right, so here we go. Here is the prize layer. It's got a nice gold background to it. Nice blue part there on the chip. Nice gold backing. Kind of makes sense it being you know, like a pharaoh. It's called a sphinx, but I thought the sphinx was a lion head. Ooh, okay. So in real life, the middle's kind of more of like a teal. And the outer is kind of like more of a gold, but this is nice for 980. That's not bad. It actually looks super nice. Which is the gear needle. So this looks just like regular needle, only it's got the gears. A lot more gears. I was supposed to use the extreme ridge a little easier, better, faster. But yeah. So there it is. Sphinx cow. All right, so we're gonna do some test battles with this guy and see uh, see what we think about it. All right, guys, I'm back with the stadium. So first off, we're gonna do uh, Sphinx on 980 gear needle versus Phoenix wing 560 point and see how its defense does. And uh, see if it can hold up to something like Phoenix Wing. So, all right, three, two, one, the rip. All right, take some hits. All right, and it outspun. It's actually outspun quite a bit. Got some decent LED there. Three, two, one, little rip. All right. Phoenix Wing bursted it that round. Always cool to see. Do one more round here. All right. Three, two, one, little rip. Out. All right, so move on to the next Sphinx. Do the black one here, which is the 480 high taper. Three, two, one, loop. Okay, Phoenix Wing wins that one. Three, two, one, little rip. And Frank Wayne wins again. And then for the last one, we have my personal favorite, which is the White Sphinx Cow 560 Orb. Also versus Phoenix Wing. Three, two, one, little rip. Okay. 
32 one Ooh, okay. Nice uh, recoil KO there by Sphinx. I'm gonna run the uh, stock one more time just to see what it does here if it wants to stay that three two one little rip all right well there you have it sphinx cow got a stream finished so um this will be interesting to see in the future uh what combos are made with this parts are good 980s new gear needles new It'd be nice to see if anybody uh uses those on any other combos uh just for sphinx cow personally just off like a uh you know first impression is just that uh oh uh, yeah it's a it's a bay blade um we'll see as time goes on doesn't really seem to be very special per se i don't i don't know only more testing would tell so if you guys pick this up let me know down in the comments are you looking forward to this i feel like this kind of got uh uh overshot by the ux stuff getting announced and up for pre-order i feel like this kind of overshadowed sphinx but uh still pretty cool and it's nice to get another 560 on the white version and another orb so yeah all right, guys, catch you on the next one. Peace.